Sí, a la casa. Hello? Yeah, guys. Shall I continue? Yes, we can. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Here, when you are automating test cases, right? When we are automating test cases, for each test case, how many clicks and all we will perform approximately on an average? either clicks or send keys and all. Tell me guys, approximately maybe simple Gmail and all. Maybe for Gmail only, how many we are using? How many simple Gmail operation? One, Quite two, clear. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? So, and on average 15, we may use some operations may take more. Some test cases may take more operations also. Operation in the sense, either click or send keys or reading data. Okay. Now, if you start writing everything in this one only, in one file, it is very difficult for us. Right? So, we should manage our test cases properly. For example, if you have already implemented a method okay here for uh, for example already somebody identified the x path of something for example let me show here two members started using gmail only one guy already implemented login related code okay now you are going to do something related to gmail only so you can reuse the code whatever he has already implemented okay then how to know whether someone else already implemented it or not okay if everything is like in one file like this okay then it's very difficult so we should manage it properly so that we can understand is that method is already someone implemented or not okay so for that we should go to a concept called a model called page object model okay what is it page object model using page object model we can easily automate automate in the sense no difference whatever we are doing now and using page object but we can manage it easily okay see here page object model page object model. In this design, what we will do is each page we will consider like one class. Each page we will consider like one class. That means for each page we will create a new class. Okay. Inside class, what are the members? Guys, inside class, what are the members? Variables and the methods. Okay. Right? So, inside that new class, what we will write is, we will write some methods, okay? In that page, for example, let me explain here. So, Google home page, you consider whatever is loading, this is a Google home page, okay? So inside Google home page, one second, it's not loading. Yeah. This is Google home page, right? So this is one page. After click on Gmail, we will get something related to Gmail login because already logged in inside in this session. So we are getting our account home page. This is another page, right? After click on compose, you will get 
a small window here. See, to send the mail, we will get a new message. This is also you consider like a new page. Okay, like this, for each page, for each page, write one class. For each page, write one class. Okay, now tell me how many classes we can write? How many classes we can write? Home page, login page. G Gmail, yeah. First one is? Google home page. Google home page. Google home page. One class. Okay. Class um, Google home page. Class Google home page. Okay. Write this. Like this, we can write one class. Next class. After that, login after page. Can, uh, Gmail. Gmail. Log. Gmail login page, right? Gmail login page. We will get Gmail login page. Okay. After entering data and all, when you click on sign in or uh, next, next, after entering username, password, we will get Gmail account home page, right? Gmail home page, right? For that also, we will write Gmail home page home page right after click on compose after click on compose we will get another page another option like message page. new message right correct yeah. new message after click on here and compose this is gmail home page after click on in gmail home page we have compose option when you click on it we will get another page, new page, okay? Class, new message page, right? Like this, we will write classes. Inside class, what we will write, okay? In that page, some options will be there, right? For that, one second, let me start from the beginning. See here, inside Google home page, whatever the options available, for each option, one, one method we will write inside that page. This is Google home page. Here, what method we have to write? One option, Gmail. This Gmail is click Gmail, right? Clicking, yes. that is click one. So you write a method inside Gmail one, right? Click Gmail. Click Gmail. Like this, one method you write. How to write click? We will see. Anyhow, we know we have seen it already. Finding expert and calling click method, two lines of code only. Okay, and another method. What and all we can write? Click images, right? So click images. Click images. Like this one method. Okay, another one. Click sign in. Click sign in. Like this, in every page, okay, in every page, whatever the options available, for those options, one one method we will write. Okay, inside that, finding expert and click operation. Finding expert of Gmail, expert of Gmail and calling click method by passing expert. Okay. This code we will write. Okay. Similarly, click on images, finding the expert of that and then clicking it. Okay. Now, our goal is just to automate Gmail. Our goal is just to automate Gmail related test cases one or two. At that time, is it required to write image related method? Is it required no. to write 
here no. no right because they are not going to use okay you wrote a new class okay you wrote a new class google home page like this inside that you are implementing only one method whatever is required for your test cases all the options if you consider here how many options are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay here changing languages okay another 10 are there for all this 20 you cannot write you can write but it is time consuming but your goal is to test gmail related in that page you just implement gmail click method only okay tomorrow somebody wants to test images related what they will do they will implement another method okay first of all they will go to gmail gmail class is there right G sorry google home page class inside that they will check how many methods are available okay these are the methods does it contain click images no so they will implement that method if it is already there they will reuse it they will call it instead of implementing it again is it clear guys yes now we should write our uh, in this fashion we should move all our statements into different classes all these statements we should move into different right see here now page object in this page object each page is like a new class right the options available in that page are like methods okay sorry first one is google home page right google home page here all pages should extend helper class because there only we implemented click send case with wait logic so we want okay. to use those right without creating object so we must use extends helper okay extends sorry spelling mistake t x t a n d s extends helper right inside this what method we are going to write now tell me guys what method what method we are going to write tell me public wide gmail click on gmail okay right click on gmail once if you call that method once if you call that method okay it will click inside that what we supposed to write said that what we supposed to write so all click methods what data is required driver object is required right driver object yes yes correct okay. driver object right so driver object that i will write driver web driver web driver driver okay the guy who is calling this method he has to pass that and one more is actually only that is enough web driver only enough x path we will find inside this and we will pass 
Okay. One second. Web driver, it is showing error. Why? Because import statement we should add. Okay. Import and here we need to call that click method. Right. First of all, we need to write xpath string gmail xpath. Gmail option x path equal to okay. What is the x path? We'll take from here. This is the x path for Gmail. Okay, just take this method. Control X. Here you write this X path, you declare a variable and then use it or else directly also you can use it. That is up to you. Okay. So any doubt in this? Guys, any doubt in this? No. Click on Gmail. If anybody calls, click on Gmail. If anybody calls, click on Gmail. Automatically it will click and it will wait also, right? Okay. And uh, next one. After click on Gmail, next what is the page? Which page we are going to write? Login Gmail login page. page, right? Plus Gmail login page. Gmail login page. Okay, inside Gmail login page, what are the methods we supposed to write? What are the methods we supposed to write? Login. Login, yeah. User ID no, and password. Login. Enter mail ID, right? Yeah. Enter Update. user ID and password. Yeah, all, method, all classes should extend helper, right? Okay. Helper extension is mandatory, right? So public wide enter data. Okay. Enter mail ID. Enter mail ID. Okay. So enter mail ID. The guy who will call this method they must pass always x path is same right always x path is same that driver object is different okay that's why always uh, x path is same that's why x path related variables we are writing inside this method only but the driver object is required okay the start the launch point where they are creating driver from there they have to pass this driver to throughout all the methods okay they should pass it to all the methods and input data okay so to whom we supposed to send mail okay mail id so mail id after that tell me guys How to write this? Next one. So Google home page that is done. Right? Now, next one. Google home page. After that, if it comes, where it comes, this sign in. After click on Gmail, 
they may get a new additional page, right? If it yeah. is there, yeah. it will click. Otherwise, it doesn't click. For the time being, we'll write inside that uh, method only. One second. Inside, I will tell you that. Soon, we'll go to this. Login page. This will be there, right? Login page. So Gmail login page, send keys method you are calling, okay? And this, if you want to make it a separate XPath, just create a variable, okay? String XPath. What is that email XPath? Email XPath equal to this value, you put it there and whatever the value they will pass that you use as input data okay now email xpath email xpath and mail id okay Guys, any doubt in this? What is the next method? Public wide click next, right? Password and click password. Yeah, click on next is also one method is there, right? We need yes. to click, right? Yeah, yeah. So that also web driver, okay? That next X path will take string. Next element x path. So take this so that it just x path here and pass this now next method public wide enter password same string this is password. Okay. Same thing we can write. This is password and password xpath. And the password related export, take it from here. See, instead of writing everything in one place, we are dividing into pages, okay? So that we can easily understand its related method. Is it available or not? Is already someone else I implemented it or not? We can easily identify. Tomorrow, if any changes in some place, by seeing just, the page, we can understand, okay, this is the page. So, for this page, this is the class. Directly, we can go and modify. Tomorrow, somebody tells, XPath related, we are Gmail. Instead of Gmail, we are giving there like Gmail login. Then immediately, you can go to, it will be there in Google homepage. So, there will be a method, Gmail, click on Gmail. They modify the XPath of Gmail to Gmail login. Okay? Got it, guys? Now, here every time we are passing this, right? Now, another page. 
after uh, click on next what is the next page what is the next page next page is uh, email page email home email page home page okay inside that what options we have to write click on compose right Public, wide, click on compost. Okay, click on compost. So, what is the X path for that? So, Gmail login page for that and compost related. Guys, after this, we have to do some more. So, please observe properly here. In compose, test I am declaring a variable compose x bar like that. So after that, pass compose x bar. Okay. Now this driver, web driver we should write here, web driver, driver, okay, now, web driver we should import, after click on compose, what is the new class, what class will get, new message, right, yes, new message, space, uh, inside that, what are the options? Public, wide, enter, two address. Okay. Two address. Who will call this method? They should only pass web driver. Driver, comma, two address, string, two address. Okay. Now, here, Gmail home page one is done. And see, if you see Gmail home page, so many options will be there here, right? Click on compose, click on inbox, but we are not implementing all. We are implementing only the one which is required for our test case. Okay. In future, if we need something, need to be in, uh, need to be added, so we can add it like this. Yes, exactly. Yes. In future, if you want to test related to inbox, so click inbox like that. You can add that inbox related. Another page will come right. So inbox page like that. You can write. Inside that, what are the options available? Those you implement inside in box space. Okay. So these three will be inside new message only, right? The send case. So string to address to x path equal to this is the x path per two and while calling we should use that and a web driver to address we need to pass this Okay, now another method we have to implement for subject, enter subject, subject, okay, so subject, here we should write subject and x path is this.
subject underscore x path. Okay, so subject underscore x path you use. Another one, click send. Okay, public wide click on send. Okay, click on send. For that also, web driver is mandatory. Web driver is mandatory and send option related X path string send option X path. Okay, send X path. So call that click method. passing send x path as an argument okay now remove this yeah web driver we should use and extends also we should do extends cmp your helper and web driver we should Import web driver. One second, guys. Why is it showing error? Please tell me. Public wide written types are missing. Okay. Wide. Okay. And then import web driver. Guys, any doubt in dividing? Pages, no, no. classes, and implementing options as methods inside that classes. No. Now, consider Gmail. All these pages one are just pages. Here, this is the test case one you can step. Here only will implement all test cases in one class. Remaining all will be pages. All those pages methods will call inside test cases class. Okay. Now, I am replacing this as test case, Gmail test cases. But to Instead of Gmail program, okay, Gmail test cases or test cases. All test cases will be in one class, okay. Remaining all pages will be in different class. Now test cases class should call all these pages classes to perform its operation, okay. Now instead of Writing so all these we finished it right all yes. these we finished it now here sign in also one thing is pending right sign in that sign in see sometimes if you get okay if you don't get no problem where shall we write after click on gmail only there only will write inside that this yes. guys because if you want, you can write a new page also, no problem. Okay? So, just always after click on, just try to click this also. If it is available, okay. That will be in Google home page, right? In Google home page, after click on that, you try to perform click on this also. Okay? If it is available, okay. If it is not available, it will throw the exception and we are catching it, so no problem. Okay, got it? Now, here from test cases classes, now how to call first one? Google home page we need to call. Here, no need to extend a helper class because we are not going to call that click methods and all. Okay, directly we will call the methods of click on Gmail. Okay. Helper okay. class kick method we are not calling. Helper class set keys method we are not calling. Directly we will call from that pages, click on Gmail, send uh, in 
input case to mail id send input case to password like that those methods we will call okay so how to call those methods first of all if you want to call first to start thing is google home page okay here i will ask you guys tell me the disadvantage of this after implementing google home page okay google home page okay home page equal to new google home page okay created object using that which method we can call from we can call the google home page inside that click on gmail is there we can call that method right right guys now yes after click on gmail which one login page related okay gmail login page gmail related login page okay login page gmail login page okay gmail login page equal to new gmail login page gmail login page okay if you create object of that one using that what and all you can call i can call login page enter mail id right login page enter mail id right and another method after entering Pass mail sir. id Click on next, right? Yeah, okay. click on next. Click on that. Click on next. Also, we have to do right. And GML is the object whatever we have created. Click on password. Okay. For time being, here I am giving string mail ID. Okay, string mail ID. I am declaring two variables, static ones, mail ID, password. Tomorrow we will replace. Tomorrow, in the sense, next class will go through reading data from XML. At that time, we'll replace this data reading from there. Okay, password. Now, username, password will enter here. Okay, after that. after that what we have to do after again we need to click on next then you will get then you will get gmail home page right so gmail home page related object we need to create gmail home page equal to new gmail home page okay gmail home page okay gmhp dot click click on compose right gm after click on compose you will get a new message okay new message class new message new message okay so new message base equal to new message base new message space inside that what are the methods available guys two what address. are the methods available two address two address click enter two address okay enter subject n m p dot enter subject and n m p dot click on send so that mail program will be completed here two address subject you should take two more variables two address string two address two adr equal to okay and one more thing string subject yes you okay for now here we will only enter this data okay and then we will use it later this portion okay reading data will do from hms sorry xml okay reading data from xml 
okay now some time back we used the username password let me copy paste those let me copy paste those where do we have that oh we removed it Oh, helper, you might be having. No. Helper, helper also doesn't have. Uh, world projects might be having. Let me see. Here we can see mail ID. Okay, we'll not down. Um, no, it's not uh, allowing. Open that. You will see. You will be able to do it. Here it is not showing full one. Control C. Guys, any doubt in this? No, not yet. Now, tell me one thing. If you want to use anything, any method, what are we doing? Every time we are creating object, right? Mm -hmm. If our test case covers 100 pages or 10 pages, in one test case you have to create, every time you have to create objects like this, right? And then yeah, create. Yeah time create object okay anyhow creating object is required but what we will do is instead of creating here in test case okay we will create somewhere else okay that in that pages only we will create that i will show you okay see with this let me run it once
here. Can you guys tell me why is it waiting here? After click on Gmail, inside that we wrote click on sign in, right? Click on sign in, one more. Sometimes we'll get a red color one on the right side corner here, sign in we will get. Once if you click on that, then only we will get this page, right? For that purpose, that sign in we added inside, click on Gmail. It clicked on Gmail and it is waiting for that checking of that sign in. We gave time out of max time out of 60 seconds. We gave max time out of 60 seconds. So it waited 60 seconds for that sign in option to check whether sign in is available or not. It did not find it. Okay. So max time it waited because it check it will do polling for every 500 milliseconds like that. 60 into 2, 120 times it did polling operation. It did not find one minute time is over. Then it started coming out of that. Okay. Now here entering password option, wrong password it is showing. Maybe did we so, enter wrong? Welcome, yes. to, sorry, welcome to Selenium. Okay. Welcome to Selenium. Guys, understood? Why is it yes. waiting that much time there after checking? Because that sign in one, it is looking. Okay, for that it's waiting. Then one second. Yes, suddenly we got one exception. Okay, this is previous one. Previous one output. Here we don't have any control to come out of that one. We mention like okay, if it is available, you click. Then it should wait till that max time occurs. It will be keep on checking. Is sign in option available? Sign in option available. Like that, it will be checking for next one minute. If it did not find, then it will come out of that. Okay. Okay, done. This one is related to that sign in element. Okay, it waited and for every 500 milliseconds polling happened. Like that, it waited for 60 seconds. It did not find this sign in. Okay, that's why it threw timeout exception. Okay. Now, here. Every time we are creating object, in every test case we need to create like this. Instead of this, what we can do is, 
what we can do is here why are we creating object of google home page guys tell me why are we creating because it is uh, 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 instance variable right yeah correct that is there is a method click on gmail which is available inside that class to call that we need object that's why we are creating it right similarly yeah. this gmail login page it has some methods to call those we are okay now instead of creating here in page object model here we have pages and inside that methods we have right there only we can create that here only we can create that okay here only we can create that method okay now how to sorry how here only we can create that object how to create okay that i will tell you one thing see here to access all these methods we are creating this right now to access this method we are creating this object to access these methods we are creating this right now tell me click on gmail will it leads to new page after click on gmail do we get a new page or same page after click on gmail new page. we are get, new page. getting new page right yeah. that is why new next methods uh, these methods we want to use after click on gmail we want to use the highlighted methods line number 23 to 26 but those methods are available in the new page okay so click on gmail is causing a new page okay it is click on gmail is opening a new page okay that is why we are creating that new page object and then using that object we are calling next methods after that click on this next click on next after click on next what is it happening after click on next what is it happening new page will come home page right got it guys yes yes that is why we are creating object here after click on compose new page will come right so see here once again after click on sorry after entering mail id line number 23 will it be in the same page or different page it will be in the login page only right after yeah, entering same. mail id it is not redirecting to new page like gmail home page like that right so some methods clicks are causing new page opening some methods clicks are not causing new pages it will be on the same page after click also right so what is that point tell me some clicks some method clicks causes new page okay leads to new page some are some clicks after that it will be on the same page right so if it is on the same page see here after click on next here after entering mail id it is on the same page that's why we are not creating different object using the same object whatever it has already used right so if click is causing new page you do one thing if click is causing new page okay at the time you make that for now all the methods we implemented return type as void let me show here for all these methods what is the return type here guys what is the return type void here also void for all the methods we implemented return type as void for all the methods see instead of that one what you can do is if this click is causing new page if 
this click is taking you to new page okay at the end uh, you return that a new page object if this click is causing or uh, taking you to new page at the end uh, you return that a new page object okay otherwise just uh, return this that means if click is causing a new page means next operations whatever you are going to perform those operations will be on the new page right to perform new operations on new page you need to call that page methods to call those you need object of that page that is the reason if click is causing new page you return the object of that new page so that the guy who is calling this method click on compose he will get that object whenever he calls it will perform click operation and it will return that object of new page so that based using that object directly he can call that new page methods without creating again object okay understood okay is it clear? confusing let me write here later i will explain one more time okay don't worry some methods method clicks causing new page right for those methods you write a return type return type okay return okay object of new page suppose clicking on gmail clicking on gmail for example clicking on gmail is causing new page right what is that page gmail login page so we should write we should return object of that gmail login page return okay object how to create new gmail login page like this okay now some clicks are not causing or not redirecting to new page it will be after click also it will be on the same page at that time you do return of this that i will explain soon first replace these things these two return and this return okay for all the methods can we implement that guys yeah yeah, yeah. i will come back and explain you for time being just remember this okay why should you return new one i will explain you again okay if it is redirecting to new page return the object of that new page otherwise you return the object of this okay that means the same class object click on gmail click on gmail okay first time starting one google home page one we must create one time to call gmail after that onwards all these we can avoid see here test cases sorry let it load here first time calling this creating this is required google home page start page one remaining these we can avoid remaining these we can avoid okay how to avoid we must create without creating it's not possible but we are not writing here we are writing inside that pages only okay now click on gmail click on gmail is it after click on gmail do we so get a new page or will it be in the same page new page gmail login page correct return new gmail login page right so that gmail login page object we create we should create gmail login page l l capital yeah l capital right gmail login page so creating object and returning it when you are returning it okay when you are returning it here your return type should be what type of object you are returning that type it should be right okay if you are writing returning integer it should be integer type right like that 
Why is it showing error? Uh, one second. So we have a uh, public braces. braces. Looks like everything is prop. Try catch. Try catch ended. Okay. Sorry, this written statement should be inside method, right? We are writing outside the method. I thought till here try catch is there. Okay. Catch ended here only. After catch, try catch. This is related to one. Method ends here. See method ending here. I thought method ending here. That's why right. this written statement should be inside method. Last statement of the method. Right. Got it? Go to next page here. Enter mail ID. Enter mail ID. Tell me, enter mail ID. What it will do? Guys, enter. It will be on the same page. It will be on the same page. On the same page, right? So yes. here you should write, return this. When we discuss Java, I explained about this. What is this? This is a pointer or object points to current class. What is the current class? Gmail login Gmail page. Login. We are in Gmail login page. So, this is Same a page, object okay. of current class. Sorry. So, replace that. Okay? Clear? Now, after click on next, tell me. After click on next. It is also same page. Same page. But here, but next. first time, clicking on next. After entering mail ID, clicking on next will be in the same page. After entering password, again we need to click on next. At the time, that, will be that click different. causing new page. Right? Yes. So, here, we have return. to write, return this, return that. Then which one we have to return? Okay, for that, here is a problem. So implement another method also. Click on next after email. Click on next after entering mail. Okay, after entering password. Okay, now after entering this guy will return this right this guy will return that new page one so this means current class object so return type should be this okay here this one also after entering that return okay now come to Click on next after entering password. It will redirect to which page? To a email, uh, log, uh, email home page. Google home page, right? No, email, Gmail home page. Yeah, sorry. Gmail home page, right? Gmail home page. Okay. If it is returning Gmail home page, See here, creating object and then returning it, right? Okay. So it will be like this. Now, after that, in Gmail home page. Gmail home page. Okay? After click on this, it will return object of new message page, right? New message page. So new message page object, it will return after after click operation, it will do that. That's why, okay, after first we have to do click and then return the object of that new page, whatever it will loads, okay? Now, inside new page, okay, it is not returning any other pages, just it will be there only, right? Okay. Return this. Return this. Okay. 
see guys here this means new message space right here one thing you guys please tell me after send click on send we are in gmail home page right yeah. so that new message page is getting closed and control is going to which was which page gmail home page so here this is gmail home page right yeah. After click on send, return new Gmail home page. Okay. Let it return that. Now, <coughs> like this we implemented, right? Now, yeah, click on next. All these, see here. After click on Gmail, what happens? After click on Gmail, what it will return? Return type. Yeah, it will be Gmail login page. Gmail login page object automatically it will return, right? So, do I need to create object? The output of this method is, okay? The output of this method is clicking on Gmail and then returning the object of that a new page, Gmail login page, right? So okay. that object, as a result of this call, we will get object of Gmail login page. That's why if you see here, Gmail login page we got, okay? That is why with the Gmail login page dot, if you enter Gmail login page related methods, you can see, see here, right? Gmail login related object, we will get output of this, right? If you have any object, particular class object, if you enter dot, object dot, all the methods of that class, it will show, right? The output of this Gmail, click on Gmail, what is there inside that, see? Clicking plus returning the object of Gmail login page. So Gmail login page, we will get, okay? When you enter dot, automatically it will show. Entering password, right? That is dot, entering. After, sorry, entering email ID, what we have to do? Click on next, right? Yeah. Guys, understanding? Yeah. So we can continue uh, calling on the same yeah, uh, line, right? Click on, yeah, correct, like this. Okay, this will return the object of same class because next operation is on same only, right? That's why it is returning, right? So click next after entering. First we have to enter mail ID and then this, sorry, right? Enter mail ID. And then click on next after entering mail, right? And then enter password, okay? After that, one second. After that, click on next again. Click on next. After click on next after entering password right so all these steps yeah. are uh, we can remove right now after that gmail uh, this click on next after entering password will return gmail home page object right yes, yes. this is why it is showing that uh, click on compose right? yeah. after that yeah. that will return Subject to address, okay, new message related object it will return. Enter subject, okay, and then click on send, okay. And then 
it can't send. It will return the object of that one. That is the end. So we are, if you want, you can see what are the options available inside that. Click on compose and all available, right? Somebody uh, add uh, like a skin box, click on in box like that. It will show all those, right? Any doubt, guys? No. So, in page object model, what we will do is all pages we will write like classes. Each page is like one class. Okay, inside that page, whatever options available, for those options, we will implement one one method inside those classes. Okay, here each class you can create object, right? That is why each page is like a class. For class object, you can create. That is why each page behaves like one object. Okay, that's why page object model. Okay. I think you guys understood now why some methods returns this, why some methods returns that new class one. Because next click is causing new page means the methods whatever you want to call is available in that new class. So that class object we need. That's why after performing that operation click, we are returning that new page object. Got it? Okay. So, Venkat, one quick question before uh, it, uh, it completes running. So, okay. can you go to the your Eclipse? Eclipse, okay. Yeah, any, any one of the classes? Yeah, pages classes. Yeah, oh. any page classes. Yeah. So, here, so the class name is like Gmail login page, right? Yeah. Okay. So, you, so again, we are using another class as well, like Gmail login page, enter email ID. This is also class, right? Enter mail ID. Enter mail oh. ID. This one, this is a method. Method. Method, okay, okay. Yeah, method. If it is a class, there will be a keyword class. Okay, class, class name. Okay, okay. if it is a method, public okay. and method written type and method. Okay, 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 so. All these are methods. Okay, okay. Guys, is it clear? Yes, yes. Oh. One more so, thing is, this is how in real time uh, normally it's, uh, this is how we we'll implement our test cases. Okay. Tomorrow okay. somebody wants to know whether Gmail class has or home page class has some method, right? Uh, one second, where is our test cases? Here they were, they want to write some other, okay, some other test case. Here later, how to make these things as test cases, I will tell. For now, we are writing, this is one test case. Okay? Another test case also, GH, Google home page related object they created. Click on Gmail only showing. No one implemented. Click on no. images. Right? Click on images, nobody implemented. That's why it is not showing. Once if they create object of this, they can easily understand whether is it already implemented or not. Okay. For example, if they want to know inside compose home page is anything other things implemented other in Gmail home page other than compose, is there any other methods implemented? If they want to know, they can see here, right? Because this guy returns home page object. Similarly, this click on next here also will get home page related. Okay. Just if you enter control space, okay, you can see what are the methods available. 
so that we will understand okay it's not their vision for example somebody wants to use click on images okay they will create object of it let i am commenting this okay using this they will check okay test case is click on images they will see okay is there any method click on images no then what they will do they will go and implement a method where it will come the tabs and will come in home page right in a home page gmail sorry google home page so here they want to implement another method for click on images now let me identify the xpath of it and then we will do click so we get that whose text is images dollar x get that Was text equal to images? Okay, it is returning properly, so we can use this. Where we supposed to write, guys? Tell me in Google Home page, right? There is a method. We should write a method. Public wide. Okay, click on. images okay click on images click on images string images xpath equal to okay now call click method okay click method click method and pass that xpath okay pass the text part the guy who is calling they should pass web driver also okay because web driver is required okay now is it clear now once if somebody clicks on images what is the output just will see once it's to redirecting to some other pages may just related search right earlier it was different see here okay so images page like that we can return okay so return type should be images page so if you want to return that images related class return image related object okay images class images page okay images page object we will return now see here images page object one minute guys See guys, now images class object you are creating and returning because after clicking on images we will get images related page, right? Now we should create object for that. Means that a class should exist, right? So if you want to create an object of any class, first that the class should exist, right? Here images class we did not write images page class, but we are trying to create object. that's why it is showing error so just create an object no need to implement just create object okay sorry just create a class so that it will image space okay image space yeah it is saving one second okay image space inside that to create object 
okay to create object if you have a class that is enough inside that methods are there using that object you can call if no methods you cannot call any of those right just object you can create an empty object like that okay now that's why see here the error is gone now using this to check now click on images click on images clear now run it so like this for all the pages you should write classes and you need not to implement all the methods that means methods for all the options whatever you are going to cover it for now you implement those later somebody who is going to test it they will add some more methods okay because if you only want to add all it is not possible it is more time consuming okay so it click on images and it's done okay now let me add one more point here see guys every time here this one i am commenting i am going to gmail only here all the times all the times you are passing a you are passing driver object see all the times you are passing driver object driver 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 okay driver 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 why this driver is uh, object is required for performing operations right correct right click and all required to pass it to click those methods required okay first time what we can do is tell me whenever you create object what executed first it will execute constructor first right whenever you create object it will create a constructor sorry it will execute the constructor first okay at the time of object creation automatically it will execute the constructor do you guys remember this point hello so what i am going to do is instead of passing every time this okay this is not required every time passing one time you pass it to constructor of your start object okay starting page starting your home page object okay there inside constructor you read it control enter p inside this class you write a constructor write a constructor okay google yes okay and here web driver you write that web driver because when they are creating object they are calling parameterized constructor and they will pass that web driver okay to declare a web driver object here web driver equal to web driver driver equal to null like that initially you create one okay and then whatever they will pass you assign that to this Okay, web driver. This dot web driver. This dot web drive driver equal to driver. Okay. See guys, using constructor instead of passing every time here this one, I can in all those pages it is one time enough, right? It is one time enough. No need to. right multiple times okay the guy who is calling this first one he will pass that driver object to constructor i am declaring a global variable or instance variable and i am assigning that driver object to this instance variable so that it will be available to all these methods okay got it now similarly whenever you are calling you are creating a new object for that guy you pass you pass this driver okay so 
over you pass this driver to the guy that new page page okay new class okay there also same you write one second i will come back and explain this this is constructor change to constructor and here no need to pass this no need to pass this because instance variable always it will be available to all the methods of that right then here whenever you are creating object for that to pass this okay in that class it will be initialized to instance variable and it will be available to all the members See guys, whenever we are calling this method, okay, from the test case we are passing this again and again. Instead of passing those many number of times, okay, one time you pass it to start object. That start object inside that some class, some method will be taking you to new page, right? At the time you are returning that page object, right? At the time of creating that new page object. You pass it to that constructor. It will be initialized there to an instance variable, so that it will be available to all. Okay. Now. See here onwards, you need not to pass that. That we removed it. Okay. Guys, any doubt in this? Gopi? Yeah, yeah. The something? last part only I am missing it. Let me go through the video again. <laughs> any doubt yeah, I will ask you. I will explain that. one more time. Okay, and then we will go. Enter password. Okay. See here, earlier, like this, we are passing one more parameter extra, driver parameter, right? Why should we pass it every time? If you give it to one class, that class can give it to another class. From the test case only, no need to pass to all the classes, all the methods every time. So first time, okay? Google page object, Google home page object when you are creating, you are passing it to it. Okay? See here, you are passing it. So, in constructor, what I am doing, I am taking that value and I declared one instance variable web driver. I am assigning this driver value to that instance variable. So, instance okay. variable lifetime is in that full class you can access anywhere. So that here, when we are calling, click on Gmail from test case, no need to pass driver again because at the time of object creation, already we passed it. So it will be available to this class members. So that it will be available here as well as here, right? So here, there is test case here, no need to pass driver. Because okay. it will be available, you pass it through here. Okay? Now, it will be available in Google home page. Right? So, Google home
home page, whatever the methods you are using, those internally driver requirements, it will use this. See here, you are creating new class object. At that time also, for that constructor, you pass driver object. So, in that class, again, same code repetition. Constructor will take and it will be assigned to a instance variable so that it will be available to all the methods. No need to pass web driver from test case and here no need to take web driver. Got it? Okay. So like this same web driver, whenever new page comes, at the time we are creating the object, right? At the time of object creation, pass it to constructor. Inside constructor, we have written code like this so that it will be assigned. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, both are same only. But okay. instead of passing multiple types, you passed it one time. The constructor, you are reading and assigning to instance variable so that it will be available to us. Okay? Okay. Okay. Guys, still here any doubts? Please no, no. let me know. Okay? This is how page object model. Tomorrow, if any changes in any of these elements, okay? Developers may inform us. We are changing the name of like compose option to some new mail like that. Then immediately we can go and change that X path itself, that method X path. Okay, so that remaining everything will be same. Okay. So it is easy to maintain, right? That's the reason exactly. we are using exactly. Yeah, if we have thousands of test cases, where did we write? Where is that X path? Okay, it is searching is difficult. Now, if you implement like this, it will be easy. You can easily identify, okay, this is the page name. Okay, for this page, there will be a class related to this. In that corresponding class, there will be a method for that click operation. Okay, you can go and see there immediately. Okay. And tomorrow, tomorrow in the sense, next class, I will explain something related to how to read data from XML and how to use it and then here see it will execute at the end is it showing this is a test case like that no simply it will finish its execution and it will be handled like that okay see here after finishing test case it won't show any data like test cases executed passed these many like that, okay? To get that kind of info, this is a test case we know, right? Another test case if you write like this, this is another test case. This is click on images is another test case, okay? Click on images is another test case. At that time, if you run these two, it will execute two times, but it won't show like two test cases and all. Simply it will execute two times and it will finish. If you want to know this is one test case, what is the status of it? If you want to make this as one test case, <coughs> this as another test case, like that, if you want to make it this program like test cases wise, okay? How to make it? For that we will use something called test ng. Test ng is another third party software it will be used for test cases management, okay? So, whatever the code you will write, this portion of code is like one test case, this portion of code is like one test case, like that you can specify there, okay? Got okay. it, guys? Got it. How to make these as test cases and all, we will see on next class, and we will cover that reading data from XML, okay? Remaining topics we'll cover in next week, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Okay, guys. Have Thank a you. nice day. If any doubts, please let me know. Okay. Thanks again. Thank you all. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all. Bye.